Happy afternoon. Happy Tuesday. Terrific Tuesday. Hey. Hello, hello. Hello, everyone, as you're coming on. Hey. Hey, guys. Hello, hello. Kelly Girl in the Georgia world. Hello. Hi. Rose, I see you. Hey, baby. Hello, everyone, as you're coming on. Oh, goodness, my computer's making all these noises. Shawanda. Hello, hello, hello. Happy rainy Tuesday in Atlanta. I'm doing good. Hi, only one Jose. How are you today? I'm doing great, sweetheart. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Kathleen. Hey, baby. Down under. Den. Emerging excellence. Good afternoon. Hi, sweetheart. Mava Brinder. Hi, sweetie. Welcome. So listen, guys, I'm coming on real quick. As I always, don't I always say that? And then I talk for like 45 minutes to an hour and I say I'm coming on real quick. Hello, Porto Crebel. Hello. Happy International Women's Day. Woo! Hey, guys. Happy International Women's Day to all of my lady followers. We appreciate you and love you so much. Hello, hello. And I only have just a few minutes because I do have a 4.30 meeting. So I'm going to be really quick uh, to share what was on my heart right now. So listen, for those of you who don't really uh, know me or have worked with me inside my inner circle when I have my inner circle for coaches um, or uh, work with me on one-on-one -on -one courses or any inside internal access to me, if you haven't had any access to me, you probably aren't aware that I'm really huge, big, big, big on dream manifestation. I'm big on it, guys. Like I wrote a whole ebook about it. I have a whole brand new workbook coming out about dream manifestation. And it's how I live my life. I'm a powerful manifester. It's how I live my life. Um, and I wanted to share something with you that most of you have never, ever seen or even knew about. Um, Carrie went back and found a video from 2017 and this is part every year I make new goals I'll make like a virtual vision board or a physical vision board and this video from back in 2017 February 2017 I actually was sharing Carrie and I were both sharing our vision boards and on the vision board what do you see do you see Oprah guys and own the whole little cover and her now listen to what I say this is February 2017 I'm gonna make sure I got my iPad turned up and that I'm ready to share because Carrie pulled this clip just so I could share it with you guys all right and pull this back so catch this, guys. Listen to this. I hope I have it turned up loud enough. You know me and me's technical stuff, guys. It's not always the most uh, efficient. I'm trying to turn my iPad up. You don't hear that my wife has a picture of Oprah. Now tell me about Oprah's on there. Oprah's on here because we are eventually going to have a show on yes. the OWN Network. You heard that right that here. That is representing love, relationships, coaching, and success, yes. and, and you know, healthy marriage and love. Everything that we do will be a combination of things, and we're going to have a show on the OWN Network for what we do. That's right, and we stand on it. So guys, this is a video from February 2017 where I said, matter-of-factly, right that i'm gonna have a show on the own network my own show on the own network and those people who were in my life from back in 2017 who are still in my life have like said when when the contract for own came through and i got the show they're like crying right because they remember 2017 when i initially dreamed and said i'm gonna have my own show on the own network and then five years later here we are and the show comes out the 19th of this month right five years later right not instantaneous not 30 days not next week not next month 
And this is something I wanted to share with you because I want you to understand that dreams delayed do not mean dreams denied. That's right, Kathleen, speaking it into being back in 2017. Listen to what I just said to you. Dreams delayed does not equate to dreams denied. Sometimes it may feel that it's taking a little longer than expected. Back in 2017, I'm speaking it, I'm saying it, I'm seeing it. I put it out into the universe. I set my intentions. I'm going to have a show on OWN. Fast forward five years. Now in that five years, did so I sometimes get discouraged and feel like, dang, people that I started out with in the coaching business, they've take off, they've taken off people that I started out with and doing events and coaching at the same time and they're on next levels and and they seem they they the world knows about them and and sometimes it feels like you've been forgotten about and sometimes it feels like maybe God forgot about you and maybe sometimes it feels like it's just not going to happen and sometimes it feels like Maybe that you got it wrong. Maybe, maybe that's not really for you. Who am I talking to? Five years later. Five years later. To the, February 2017. Started filming the fall of 2021. And here comes my first show on the OWN Network. What did that look like in the last five years? What that look like, guys? Can I be honest about what that looked like? It looked like putting your head down and working, no matter what the circumstances look like. It meant doubling down and still believing God when nothing around you looked like it was adding up to what you thought it would be. It looks like turning down things that don't equate to what you know God has for you. Who, oh, who am I talking to? I'm talking to some of you about marriage. I'm talking to some of you about business. I'm talking to some of you about friendships. I'm talking to some of you about that promotion at your job. I'm talking to some of you that literally sometimes you've got to double down on your faith. Do you know how many networks approached me in the last five years? With all kinds of different shows and concepts. Do you know how many people came my way? Oh, you'd be great for this. Oh, we see you doing this. Oh, well, could you pretend to be, still be this? Could you pretend, you know, that in real life you're like this? Could you follow this script? Could you? No. That's not me. I'm not an actress. If I can't show up and I can't be in alignment and I can't just come on a show and be who God created me to be and just be authentically Rebecca Lynn Pope, I don't want to do it. I can't do it. So guess what? Since 2017, when I put my own show on my vision board, Guess what? There's a whole lot of no's before your yeses come. It means you're going to kiss some frogs before you get to your prince. It means you're going to have some failures before you get to the victory. It means you're going to have to say no to things that don't look like or line up with what the vision God has shown you of where you're going and where you're supposed to be. If my, my former assistant, Cheryl, we had a conversation when the own show came through, guys. And she was just in tears. She was just in tears because she was with me all the time that I was sewing into my faith, sewing into my dreams, working, sewing and setting my intentions. And she says, Rebecca, you said it so matter of factly in 2017 and you proceeded to act as if it was coming. 
You proceeded to make moves and decisions and choices. I'm that chick, guys. Guess what? I ain't going to be on just any platform. I'm not going to be interviewed by just any podcast. I'm not going to be in just any magazine. I'm not going to run around and be on the chitlin circuit and patting each other on the back when nobody's making any money and nobody's really doing any real work. I put my nose down and I work. And unless something lines up with my brand, lines up with my level of my business, unless something lines up with the classiness, the level of my branding and my marketing, unless it's a good fit, unless there's synergy, I'm not going to do anything just for exposure. I'm not going to do anything just for numbers. I've made more money. Now, this is the thing. I've made more money from social media marketing my business and coaching than most people with millions of followers. Because I've shown up consistently authentic, real, honest, transparent. Years ago, pastor called me, messaged me one morning out of Texas. It's probably about four, three, four, dang, five years ago. And said, woman of God, God just showed me something. I was just driving and God showed her some, showed me something. And guys, I don't let a lot of people have access to me. I don't let a lot of people speak into my life. I, a lot of people just don't even have my number. A lot of people just don't even try to re reach me because they already know I'm going to shut it down. I don't listen to it. I don't let a lot of people influence me. I've got God for that. Do I have accountability? Yeah. Do I have help? Yeah. But do I just let just anyone try to tell me who I am or what I should do or where I'm going or what's next? Do I let just anyone guide me, influence my decisions, influence my mindset, influence my thinking? No, that's between me and God. I got God for that. I got a one-on-one -on -one connection in alignment with God for that. I don't need people to do that for me. People are selfish, people are self-motivated, people are crazy, people, listen, you can't trust just anybody to be speaking into your life or guiding you. But that morning she messaged me and I felt in my spirit that it was okay, that it was good. So I said, sure, give me a call. She called me, she said, woman of God, I was just driving and God dropped a vision of you into my spirit and God showed me you in a stadium full of women of every color, a stadium, a dome, and you were on the stage. And she said, God is going to make you a household name. And the reason that God can trust you is because you will say what nobody else will say. And the reason that up until this point, you have been hidden is because God is hiding you. God has been hiding you from the masses, from being found, from that next level of exposure because there's coming a time when God is going to reveal you to the world for the work that he has for you to do. So don't be discouraged that you feel like others have passed you up, that Time has seemed to have gotten away. You thought it would happen by now. She said, God has intentionally hidden you from next level exposure in order to preserve you and protect you. I was filming last fall on the show, on my show, on OWN, that I manifested. And I remember one morning sitting there and, and in the morning getting my makeup done, it hit me and a, a spirit of gratitude came over me. And I said, I'm so grateful that this did not come before now. See, sometimes when you cast that dream, sometimes when you catch a vision of where you're going or a preview of where you're going, you don't quite understand that God has a way of creating and orchestrating the right circumstances for you to thrive in that dream instead of the dream destroying you, instead of the dream tearing you down. Because sometimes if you're not ready for something, something can do more damage than it can to bless you. And in that moment last year, I sat there and I said, I'm so grateful 
that this did not come before now. I wasn't ready before now. I wasn't emotionally, mentally, psychologically. I wasn't from a faith perspective. I wasn't from a financial perspective. See, one of the things you have to realize, guys, is that TV and next level exposure is a whole different level of pressure. And if you go into that and you are not stable, self-assured, and you don't know who you are and whose you are going into it, it can jack you up. It can jack you up. Fame, notoriety, celebrity can mess you up if you are not 100% sure who you are, whose you are, why you're there, your true identity, your purpose, your passion, so that you can stay true to that thing. So you can keep showing up consistent and authentic. I wasn't ready before now. If I didn't have the money in the bank. <gasps> what do you mean by that, Rebecca? I mean, when you are financially secured, people can't dangle carrots in front of you or try to manipulate you or get you to do things you don't want to do because you're afraid you're going to mess up an opportunity or you're, no, you want to be in a position where they need you more than you need them. You got to always be in a position where you're good. You're okay. Whether it comes, whether it goes, I'm good. Whether I take this or not, I'm good. I don't need anything from you. You can't get me to step out of my authentic nature and anointing and calling and purpose to do anything outside of who I truly am if I don't need you. If, if, I'm already validated. I'm already secured. I'm already confident in who I am. I'm not looking for anything. As a matter of fact, doing this was a sacrifice. Doing it took money out of my pocket. Doing it, I had to sit and really process whether this was the right thing and then make the moves and organize my life to be ready to do it because it was a sacrifice. I was sowing into the next season, into the next level, sowing. And if you're not ready for that, people can try to take advantage of you. People can try to manipulate you. If you're looking for validation, if you're looking for fame, if you're looking for the spotlight, if you just want to be popular and you just want to be the end thing and you just want to be trending and you just want to go viral and you just want to... Dangerous. Dangerous. So I manifested own by seeking God, staying in alignment, Staying true to my calling, healing myself, working on me, being ready when the opportunity came. Work. Do what you need to do to be ready for what it is you've asked God for. I asked five years ago for my own show on OWN. I thought I was ready then. Don't we, isn't hindsight 2020, guys? Isn't hindsight always 2020? Isn't it so much easier to see hindsight? You don't know exactly what you're ready for. You think you're ready. Do the work. For those of you who are new to my channel, make sure you take the work masterclass. There's a link going to be in my bio. The work masterclass is a virtual e-course, a healing, spiritual healing course that works really well with therapy, works really well with uh, working on yourself, reading books. All right. Make sure you take the work masterclass. Um, I'll do a sale on it just for you guys. Since I'm doing a video, it'll be 40 percent off with the code flash. 40 percent off the work masterclass with the code flash. The work and the steps that I put inside of that course, guys, are directly related to how I healed myself how I consistently always keep working on me. I do my healing work every year. 
I take time off and work on me every year because healing never stops. You're always going to keep going through things and experiencing life experiences that that hurt you and break you down. Or God is always using the people and situations around you to reveal to you the more in-depth work that you need to keep doing. It's up to you to identify and see those things and work on it. It's up to you to do that. So you're ready for your next blessing. You're ready for what God is ready to walk you into. Right? It says study to show thyself approved. That's scripture. Study to show thyself approved. That means there's work that goes into being ready for what it is you want to be approved for. There's work that goes into it. Right? All right, guys. I love you. My dream manifestation book is coming out very soon. I'm so excited about it. Millionaire Coach book is coming out. I have an announcement coming for summer semester of our ALPCC coaching certification. If you want to become a certified abundant life coach, make sure you click the link in my bio as well. Summer application is are open. We're taking applications for summer. It's the only time I'm teaching it this year. So make sure you get your application in. And we have a brand new program um, rolling out to you that you'll be getting the details on this week. So stay tuned to the emails to get the updates for the new program. Um, some of you are going to be really excited. Um, it's going to be a little bit more budget friendly for those of you who are looking uh, for a coaching certification that's a little bit more, but it's still a master class when it comes to, to life coaching. That's a mouthful right there, Shalise. Listen, listen. Okay. Anyway, I love you guys. Blessings in abundance. Make sure you click the links for the work masterclass with the code flash to get 40% off and make sure you click the link in my bio also to become a certified abundant life coach to apply for that. And you'll get the details on the new program because everything's already been updated with all of the new updates. So make sure you get that in if you're wanting to start your own professional coaching business and you are a professional individual who is ready for the level of professional training that I'm going to be delivering. We're the number one training for spirit led coaches in the world uh, but that does not mean it's all about just touchy-feely because you want to heal the world and you feel like you're a healer it means that you have to be ready to become a professional coach and run a professional business okay I like to put these little caveats on here because oftentimes when I talk about healing and being a healer it's people just all very touchy-feely about it and they're not realizing you've got to be a professional person in order for people to look up to you and trust you to give them advice on how to reach their goals and their life goals. Right? Leadership. Different mantle. Different expectation. Higher responsibility, guys. All right? All right. I love you. Mwah. Blessings in abundance. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Oh, and don't forget, Marry Me Now premieres March 19th, right after Love and Marriage Huntsville on the OWN Network. You can get that on the OWN app and I think on Discovery Plus. So make sure you guys get your own app to watch my new show, Marry Me Now. So much life coaching, so much love coaching. So just imagine a scenario where I've got eight women who are coming on, already made up their mind that they are going to be proposing to their boyfriends and then I'm brought in and hired to help them navigate that decision, right? That's the premise of the show. I need you to think about that. They're literally meeting me and I'm helping them as their life and love coach to navigate this decision they've made to propose to their boyfriends. So imagine how much life and love coaching you're going to see on this show, right? All right. Love you guys. Mwah. Blessings in abundance. I'll talk to you later. This is my 430 call coming in. Bye. Uh -huh.